Okay, I think we're live. Um, I hope you're joining us. Uh, we had a major technical issue. So, I think we've solved it. Yes. And um, I'm going to do the best job I can to try to show y'all this beautiful jewelry. So, what we decided we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to pan over the jewelry so that you can see all of it. And then I'm going to set the phone down so that I can really show you it. And um, the way that this live is shoppable is you're going to screenshot what you love and then you can text it or email it to us, whichever one feels easiest to you. If, if Since you're on our app, you can go down to the bottom and it says contact us. And you can choose if you want to email or text our store phone um, from there. So like I said, it's not going to be like this the whole time. I am going to set the phone down, but I have to give you an overview because there's so much here and so many beautiful things and um, I can't talk about every single piece so I'm gonna uh, set the phone down in a minute and show you in more in detail but I wanted to give you an idea of the workmanship the quality of the jewelry that Armenta is creating and like I told you earlier they are made in Texas by women um, it is fine jewelry. We're looking at sterling, 14 karat gold, gemstones. Uh, we're going to talk about the stones that they use because they're very unusual and different. And you can see that in the color of what I'm showing you right now. All of it is uh, sustainably made and responsibly sourced. And so your job is probably the hardest part to try to pick what you love. If you see something that you think is interesting, you're going to screenshot it and you're going to text it. There's my coffee back there. Um, <laughs> you're going to text it or um, email it to us, whichever is easiest to you. And then we're going to give you more details. We'll tell you the price. We'll tell you what it's made of. We'll tell you what stones are available in it. Um, the pieces that you see, we can ship out today and you can have it right away. Or we can have something custom made for you. All of the rings, we can either get sized or have one made for you in your size. There's so much beautiful jewelry, it's really hard to um, make a choice, but I'm gonna help you get started with this beautiful jewelry. I love all these pearls. So Armenta has an old world look to it and it's because of the techniques that they're using and it's very detailed and laborious. <laughs> That's a fancy word. Um, labor intensive is probably what I should really say. And uh, it goes from bold and beautiful down to a little delicate, everyday fine jewelry pieces that you would wear every day. And the last thing on this pan is this, the little ear cuffs. Okay, so now it's going to be a little bumpy for a second. We're going to put the phone in its cradle and it's going to be a little bumpy. But here's the store if y'all haven't seen the store. Okay, here we go, Shay. I'm going to let you take over. Okay. <laughs> There's Kelly. Okay, it's going to be bumpy. Bumpy, bumpy and stable. Okay, we did it. That was the hardest part right there. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy this show. Your job is to find what you love, screenshot it, and let me know so that I can give you more details on it. Um, look, I can see my tag. <laughs> so...
this piece is a piece that I really think I need to add to my stack. So those are um, faceted moonstones that have a mystic coating on them that make them bright and shiny. And then um, it's got champagne. No, uh, this is morganite. And it's set in sterling silver and 14 karat gold. And I think that works good with my mix. So um, what I think the hardest part is, is you may love this jewelry, but you're like, where do I start? Because it's so beautiful and you want like all of them. And I want you to have all of them. But um, you may have to collect it over time. And um, the, I think the best place to start is to try to find something that you can wear back with your fine jewelry that you're already wearing and mix it in. So I have a lot of sterling. Oh, I forgot I put this piece on earlier. That's an Armenta piece. I was uh, walking away and I needed somewhere to put it, so I put it around my neck. <laughs> but this is a beautiful piece. It's a heavy sterling chain. And um, look at the finishing details that they do. Look at this toggle. I would wear the toggle to the front. It's got uh, sapphires and diamonds set in that toggle. It's beautiful from every direction. Um, so as you can see, I, I wear sterling and diamond and gold and I mix it all. And so this piece um, would work back with what I'm already wearing. So I think that that's a good way to start. And um, then this is my Diane Maloof that's uh, gold and silver and I've had it about 20 years and I love wearing it. And so this is my Armenta that I picked to go back with my Diane Maloof and I'm wearing it every single day. Um, and so again, these are uh, three separate stack rings and my center ring has the morganite that is also in this bracelet and it's like a golden shadow color it's really pretty and it reads silver gold and it has some gold in the setting and so then it works back with what i'm already wearing i can wear it every day so that's what i want to try to help you get to is something that you can wear every single day um so I think the best place to start is to decide, do you want to wear all silver or do you want to wear silver gold? So I'm going to show you a couple of like um, ring and cuffs and earrings that are all silver and that are silver and gold and that are great places to start. And then I can show you how we can add to it over time and you can create whatever you want to create. And that's kind of fun too, because you do get to be creative in your selections and put it together the way you want to wear it. Okay, so let's start, I said rings, but I'm going to start with <laughs> bracelets. Um, one thing to know about Armenta is that they, all of their bracelets can come three different ways. You can get it in your traditional bangle like this, and it's round and it just slips on your arm. This one has a really pretty um, combination of the dark, uh, sterling silver with the 14 karat gold. These little stations, they call them Krabalis, and um, they're this little ornate detail, and then all of these have diamonds in them. So you could do a bangle. You can do what's called a huggy. So this is a really secure bracelet. It's um, the one that I choose the most often for the store because it is secure. And since this is fine jewelry, I don't ever want to lose it, but um, it's old school where you connect it and then you put the little watch clasp down so it's secure. And then the oval makes it where it's not um, hanging down a long ways. It fits close to your arm. It's That's why it's called a huggy. This is a good example of all silver. So you've got the, the dark metal, they call that old world and it's uh, oxidized um, sterling silver with a rhodium finish on the top of it. And then this is New World and it is uh, sterling with just a regular sterling finish. But you can see that they have two different levels there. And then um, diamonds, of course, in those little crevallis that are set along there. It's very detail oriented pieces. Okay, so bangle huggy or cuff. 
So their cuffs are cool because it has this little hinge and it has a little safety chain because once again, it is fine jewelry and um, you don't wanna lose it. But that little hinged part right there helps you get it on and then you close the toggle and it's not gonna come off. And so that's how their cuffs work. So all of the pieces can be engraved as well. So you can make a really sweet gift by um, picking a piece and then we can engrave it, you know, love Daniel, happy birthday, mom. <laughs> and, <aunt. Uh, laughs> um, and we can have that done for you gratis. We'll send it down to Armenta and they will engrave it for you. So that can um, make the gift very special. I know that um, the jewelry that I have is, I'm collecting it for the next generation because my grandmother gave me all of her jewelry and I still wear it. And so um, I think having it engraved makes it an even sweeter heirloom because then you know, oh, grandmother got this when she was, you know, from granddaddy when on their 50th wedding anniversary or whatever, you know. So I think that that makes it a very cool gift. Um, Okay, so that's the way that the cuffs, the bracelets work. So you just have to find a pattern that you like and decide if you want it silver gold, if you want it all silver, or you want silver with pearls, where do you wanna start? But I would start with deciding what metal mix you wanna work with. So now that you know that all of the um, bracelets can come either in the huggy, the bangle, or the cuff, you just have to figure out which pattern you like. That's an easy task. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you some pieces um, so you can get an idea of how they're suggesting wearing it. But I, what I like about it is the old world look, and um, but it's very, tailored and easy to wear every day. I think we just saw the little arrow. I love that arrow. And then it's got pearls and sapphires in that arrow and then some diamonds. I mean, what's not to love? So going on to look at some earrings, um, here's a good example of the Armenta look silver and gold and it's got that old world finish to it so those would be a great everyday earring to have and to start your collection with these are a little bit more elevated with all of the diamonds there but another good example and then if you like hoops there's a ton of hoops to look at here's a great example of the pearls with the silver and gold, which I love that look too. So much to talk about, it's hard to know where to go. Okay. <laughs> I'm jumping around. I was trying to be organized, but you know, I just get excited about all this beautifulness. So if you like bold statement rings, they, they do delicate, but they also do the bold and the beautiful very well. So all of these stones are doublets or triplets. And what that means is that they've taken a slice of a stone and put that down. And then sometimes they'll put like a translucent mother of pearl on top of that. And then they put a faceted quartz on top of that. And that's what creates like this look right here. And um, so it's not just one stone in there. Now this one might be one stone. And then there's diamonds set all the way around that. Hi, good, how are you? This is a great example of um, stackers. So you've got your, your, this is what I'm gonna call your starter. Um, you don't have to start here. You could start wherever you want. But when I was talking about picking if you want to do like silver gold, this is a great band to start with. And then over time, you collect the different stones and styles that you love and mix them together to create your own stack. Another 
other thing that they do in the stack greens is this is really fun. These are all enamel with the little 14 karat gold crevallis with the diamond in the center. But you can put back a pop of color in your stack mix. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is why I had to have my hands free because I wanted to be able to show this kind of stuff. Okay, so um, hey, have they called you yet? going back to my stack that hey, I started, that's silver gold and got okay. that old well, world uh, finish to it. Um, my goals are to add some color to it. Um, the problem is I can't decide for sure which color I want to add, but this is going to give you an example of what it would look like in my dream world. But so you can add a pop of color to your stack, and I think that that is a ton of fun. So y'all let us know what you think of that, of the enamel pieces. I also have goals to add pearls to it. I'm going to show you all that. Might as well, now that I've got you here. I create so many messes throughout the day. <laughs> Trying to show people what I'm, you know, want to show them. Okay, so, ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> That is so pretty. I needed to see that on you. So I think that Rome doesn't have to be built in a day. Um, you just kind of decide if you want to start with a bracelet or with a ring or with earrings. And then over time, you collect from there. Not to neglect the necklaces. There's a lot of really fine necklaces to show you as well. Y'all want to see some necklaces? Let's look at necklaces. So I put this combination together to show you um, the old world dark metal with the 14 karat gold. And any one of these pieces could be a great, you know, just everyday wear. This uh, heart is beautiful with the diamonds. All of these can be made in a custom link. I love this link chain because it's got the old world dark silver and then it's got the new world lighter silver combined with it. And then I put this together to show you the, the three different colors of metal that they're working with. Um, you've got You've got the all sterling old world here in this big circle in the back. And then you've got the silver and gold combination there. And then you, this is their rose gold. And it's a very pretty soft color. Since I love pearls so much, I want to show you all this neck. We should wear all of this every day, right? <laughs> Actually, you just need one of these. So I'm going to show you what one looks like, but I want you to be able to see all the options. Okay, let me put one on. I knew exactly which one I wanted. Because this one has everything going on for it. It has... It has the big organic pearls, and then it has the old world dark and silver, and then it has little pearls, and then it has 14 karat gold uh, stations. So let me show you what that looks like. So you've got the sterling and the dark metal, and then you've got the 14 karat gold, and then these big organic pearls are beautiful, beautiful. So that's a piece that could be worn singles long, or there's enough there that you could double it up and wear it at the neckline. And you could wear this to a black tie event, or you could wear it, I mean, it lends itself to wear it, you know, every day. Love that piece. 
What else do I need to show you? Um, I want to show you that they work with relics. They have um, all of their uh, original relic that was found um, cataloged and um, in their studio, and like in a library um, kind of setting where they can tell you every detail about their pieces. So I don't know if you can see the patina on that, but it's beautiful. All the details in this are um, what makes it so beautiful. Of course, this is a pendant that sold separately from the chain. So we could, um, you know, we can be as custom as you want to be if you want to add some dark metal to something like this and then do a chain in dark metal if that's you know where you want to be or if you want to do all gold like this you can do that as well um all of these pieces too i want to remind you are made in houston texas by women and um it's all they use recycled metals they are what they are sustainably made and responsibly sourced so it's supporting a lot of people and it's doing it the right way and it's doing it with the right um, methods so that it's something that should go on, continue on. It's not hurting um, the planet or uh, people. So we're in Texas and we love turquoise. And so I want y'all to see, this is a great example of them using what they call the doublet. So they've taken a slice of turquoise and then they've put a piece of faceted quartz on top of that. And that's what creates that beautiful color and that beautiful cloudy look. I love this example. Um, so they do a whole charm collection. <laughs> so you can collect the charm. So this is one of their relics and then um, the little half moon and a coin there. So you can collect them over time. And then a little bit simpler pieces that they do that I think make great gifts and are great and easy to wear every day. Like this is that turquoise doublet again, just done in a, um, a necklace pendant. That's an easy piece to wear, a great pop of color. And this is an easy piece, just a single individual piece. It's very organic and rugged and easy to wear. And that's another one of their relics. And then I like the way that this one uh, sits on the neck, the way it's designed. So those are some great pieces to start with as well. And then this little ring style has been very popular. It can come in all of the stones that we've seen, the doublets, the triplets, and it's got diamonds on the bands and diamonds around and then a little bit of gold. And what's cool about these is that you can stack with these as well. So over time, you should add more to it if you wanted. Let me grab a couple of little stackers and show you what I'm going to do. Well, we'll just do it with the pearls. You know, what's there not to love about the pearls? So you could add the stacks on either side of that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, um, there's a lot more here to show you, but I hope you'll go back through that pan over um, all of the pieces, screenshot what you love, text us or email us and we will send you great pictures. We'll give you all the details about the stones and the prices and if it's uh, what size it is, if it needs to be a size, and we'll get you started on your collection with Armenta. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great afternoon.